over the free world tonight. Certainly, no exception. Let's. What the hell was that? <laughs> Did you sneeze? What was that? Did you, you sneeze? Didn't you? Okay. Well, if you need a tissue, we have them right here. Okay. Okay. Don't be embarrassed because it is the cold and flu season. <laughs> Uh, letter, oh, how do we do this? Oh, I hold them up and read them off the thing. Yeah, that's, here we go, viewer mail. Let's viewer begin. mail. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm going to use that fan to make my own french fries as wow. well. Letter number one, dear Dave, what does it say in the white letters on the side of your pencils? Uh, Aaron Trapp, Swarthmore College, Swarthmore, Pennsylvania. Uh, well, let's take a look, Aaron. I think they're just uh, standard uh, pencils. Yeah, that's what they are. They look uh, like they're just standard pencils, and, and uh, they're made up exclusively for the use of the uh, GE executives here at NBC. Take a look, and I think you can see what it says on the side there. Yeah, use this in. That's all. Just... I think you'll have to agree with me that that's comedy. But wouldn't it have been great, Paul, if a big, huge, fat person had gotten on there? That would have proven that would I have would proven, have proven point. my point. That would have, yeah. Uh, dear Dave, letter number two begins. On your show of Tuesday, October 30th, you discussed a recent incident. You had changing a light bulb in your home. You explained that the glass part of the bulb had broken away from the metal base of the bulb, which remained in the socket. You said that you found it necessary to put on rubber boots and shut off the appropriate circuit breaker in order to replace it. Dave, if the wall switch of any light is in the off position, then no electric current gets past that point, and therefore there is no current traveling up to the bulb receptacle. Sincerely, Clifford Schwartz, Montreal, Quebec. You know, I'm telling you, this letter is so long, I'm completely exhausted. Hal, uh, do me a favor, run one of those uh, generic responses for viewer mail, will you? Okay, I appreciate it. Well, thank you so much for your interest in the late night program. We appreciate your letter. Good luck, and please keep watching. <laughs> Dear Dave, <clears throat> excuse me. Letter number three. In course of uh, in the course of perusing through the 1990 Information Please Almanac. Uh, I couldn't help but note that you were listed in their famous people section. Well, how about that? That's pretty flattering. However, I also noticed to my utter shock and dismay that Paul, Paul Schaefer, our musical director for the last three decades, was not listed. Uh, now, is Paul just pissed on finding that out? I am. <laughs> a caring fan, David Parker, Ellensburg, uh, Washington. Well, we have it. Paul, have you looked through this at all? No, I haven't Here's seen it. Here's what he's talking about. It's the see new it. 1990 uh, information, please, uh, uh, almanac. And, and apparently, uh, Paul's not in there, and the question is, is, is Paul pissed about you know when i started in broadcasting you couldn't say pissed no <laughs> i didn't know you could yeah, even you today. couldn't even take a piss when i started <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's that's how crazy things have gotten these days oh yeah e totally out of hand <laughs> okay let's see back here to the big book uh so the question is is paul in the big book and if so is he upset oh right here i think this should answer the question so here, take, yeah you're right there take a look here paul under this special category people who are pissed that they didn't make that famous people section first started yeah. in broadcasting, you right. couldn't write the word pissed on a page. <laughs> yeah, but now you can, of course. Hold it up yeah. in front of a camera. That was up in the old CBC days, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, up there, yeah. you had to do everything. Sure, yeah. Uh, make the costumes. Yeah. <laughs> you, you were in charge of what, glacier alerts yeah, up there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we may have a big one cutting loose now. Uh, dear Dave, four. Are we up to four? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, well, well, dear Dave, were, were you, Paul or Biff, ever in the circus? Just curious, Sean Lawrence, Clarksburg, Maryland. <laughs> Sorry, Sean, nice try. I'm sure you thought by sending us this letter that you'd uh, get to see me, Paul, and Biff in some goofy little skit about the circus. Well, well just forget it, Sean. There's no way we're going to do that. Okay, there you go. That concludes our viewer mail, and thank you very much for tuning in here again tonight. We certainly enjoyed chatting with you folks, and... Damn! Man, what took so long there? What the hell were we waiting for? Hey, excuse me, jerk. Shut up. Oh, fight me. Fight this, pal. Hey, mister.
Are you going to shoot my mommy's boyfriend? <laughs> this message has been brought to you by the Church of Latter-day Saints. <laughs>